then it went to the other side. It went here, then there, and finally actually spit the ticket out at the bottom. I'd love to know a truck this size with a fire truck that big, why in God's name they can't figure out that it's a semi truck. check in with the Ohio Turnpike. You got to call in on this little phone deal here. Yes, I'm getting on the toll road with a wide load. I sure do. Uh, 171. Excellent, thank you. There we go, easy as pie. Or easy enough. A lot better than Indiana, I'll tell you what, I really wish they'd get their crap together. This is just getting, the Indiana gets old. All these toll roads are ridiculous, to be honest with you. It's just more of a money grab. But the good news is I don't pay this one. They do. Well. There you go. Nope. Oh, you would give it to me, thank you. You guys are so much nicer than your neighbors in Indiana. You guys are so much nicer than your neighbors over there on the Indiana toll road. Oh, they are nothing but problems. No, the problem is I need to, I have to pay cash so I get receipts. And the one lane that does oversize is all is all, uh, easy pass only. And you can scan, you can swipe your card, but they won't give you a receipt because there's no printer there. And then he pitch a bitch about having to send somebody out to handle them. I'm like, I've had them yell at me. They're like, well, you can't run a white load at night. I'm like, you should read your own permits, lady. But whatever. Right, so there you go. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm under 10. Yeah. I'm just a touch under. So I'm like, there we go. Run all night. All right, well, have yourself a great night. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. FSC Speed Shop. It's another beautiful day over here. We got Orwell the cab over, 1984 Peterbilt 362. George Orwell built the truck. Peterbilt. No, wait a minute. George Orwell wrote the book. Peterbilt built the truck. Here we are right here. Ohio Turnpike, somewhere close to Cleveland, about the 139 mile mark. 
And of course, over here behind us, we've got the oversized striker, big three axle going out to Massachusetts, out by Cape Cod area. Just figured to walk around real quick before we fire it up. Check for anybody that crashed dinner with last night while we were sleeping. Usually doesn't happen, but you never know. It's like these things have never been hit before. Actually, funny thing, a couple guys reached out to me out in Djibouti, Africa, a while back, the, one of the ones we did where we got rolling shots with the Mercedes. Firefighters reached out to me on Facebook, talked to me about it, it was pretty cool. Uh, apparently the port screwed up somewhere on them. But, that wasn't me. But I guess they finally got their trucks, they're real happy with them. Hope to see some pictures of those soon. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the truck. Orwell's developing another problem. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. The turbos were making some weird noise. However, I think last night I finally figured it out. I was thinking, when I was looking at some footage from a video we did last week, when I pulled away, there's a little smoke coming out of the stacks. And I couldn't remember, I asked my nephew, Nikki, who by the way is sitting up in the passenger seat right there doing his schoolwork. Uh, actually, uh, school in New Jersey, virtual school in New Jersey doesn't start till 10, and it ends about two o'clock. So, uh, you know, and even that's four days a week. Uh, the other day, it's just he could do work, his uh, own, his own uh, homework. So I don't know how much learning they do in school. But he's getting a road education here in addition to whatever New Jersey wants to claim is a virtual education, which basically means it's nothing, but he's marking time. That's why I don't leave in New Jersey, by the way. But with that, we're going to go ahead and stick a GoPro later on today up in a weird spot that you guys wouldn't ever really think I would do that. Not just for you guys with the video, but for me to help diagnose this problem. I'm trying to figure out why the truck smokes a little bit when it sits, when it's turned off a little while, and it's not black smoke with diesel soot, it's white smoke. Now what? No, I'm not selling nothing. I'm not that guy down in West Memphis, Arkansas, but I am trying to figure out why this truck's acting funny, and that turbo sounds weird, but I don't think there's anything wrong with the turbo, because they did take it apart, or not the whole thing apart, took the intake off, spun the turbine on the inside, spins just fine. So, anybody care to tell me what in the hell's going on with it? I think I know what it is. It's just an odd failure, but uh, nonetheless, it's a failure nonetheless. Now we'll get in that in a future video, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key, fire it up, see what it looks like. guys in the past in comments had said hey pat the throttle before you turn the key that's what I did it fired up immediately problem is all the oil is in the oil pan I don't like that or rather crank a little bit move some oil around before she kicks either way I didn't like the way that started I don't look leave a comment below you tell me what do you think
Yule time. So I changed up my angles a little on this video. Or like GoPro placement. But I put it there before, but particularly one up on top of the truck off to the side. You know what you think, if you like that or not. I thought it was different. Oh. Mm -hmm. 